Officials of the cryptocurrency platform Binance, who remain in custody of Nigeria's security official, uh, Tugrayan Gambarayan, has appeared in court for the first time today. Gambarayan is charged along with his colleague Nandim Anjawala, who escaped from detention two weeks ago with tax evasion. The federal government had accused Binance of currency manipulation and tax evasion, both men were then invited by the government for talks, but were arrested upon the arrival in the country. Nandi Manjawala then managed to escape and fly to an unknown destination. But his colleague, uh, Gambaran, was in custody, in court today, to hear the charges against them and the company. Um, Count One alleged, alleged that um, while involved in carrying out and offering services, service to subscribers on their platform known as Binance, failed to register them with the FIRS for the purpose of paying all relevant taxes administered by the service. Count two alleged that while they were offering taxable services to subscribers on their trading platform known as Binance, uh, they failed to issue invoices to those subscribers for the purpose of determining and uh, payment of their value-added taxes. Uh, count three accused them of offering services to subscribers on their trading platform in the buying and selling of cryptocurrencies and in the remittance and transfer of those assets and that having offered those services was obli obligated to um, deduct VAT and did fail to deduct necessary VAT arising from their operations. In count four, the defendants were alleged to have, while uh, involved in the offering of services to subscribers on their trading platform did aid and abate those subscribers to unlawfully refuse to pay taxes or neglect to pay those taxes. Now, now join us in the studio is our judiciary correspondent, uh, Chibuzo Kese. Um, welcome to AIT Reports. Thank you for having me. Um, describe what happened in court today. Okay, um, of course, the atmosphere was um, expected to be um, filled up with uh, j journalists and um, litigants who were actually waiting to see the outcome of the matter today. Um, today we got to understand that we had um, two suits, one from the EFCC and one other from the um, FRS. FRS had a um, four-count charge. Um, bordering on evasion of tax, you know, on these defendants. And uh, Binance, of course, is the first defendant. Tegran is the second, while the fleeing, the third, uh, third, Ajawala, the third guy. Uh, but um, you, you, in court today, what the, the funny enough, the defendants couldn't take their plea, you know, because um, there were issues of service and non-service. For the FRS matter, actually, um, the FRS uh, defend, the prosecution came out to say that um, he knows that, yes, he had not served the uh, process or the, the charge on the defendant, um, you know, because of the fact that he has not been, he had not been able to, you know, get access to this defendant. And, you know, that brings a question to say, why, you know, have, having been in custody of the EFCC, I mean the defendant, you know, all this while, you've not had the time to serve this, uh, the defendant, you know. So, but, and because of that, the, the court actually adjourned to April 19th to enable, of course, he, he sought the leave of the court you know, you know, to actually serve the defendant while in court there, while the court, the court granted that leave, you know, to say, okay, serve this defendant, you know, and then allow the lawyer and the defendant, you know, go through these charges, and then you come back for arraignment. Okay, okay, yeah. speaking of the defendant, uh, that's um, the Graham Gambarayan. The Graham, yeah. Um, how did he look in court? <laughs> oh, of course. Um, for someone who was invited into the country, you know, to uh, ask us certain questions about, you know, issues about uh, the 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 um, was it called transactions happening in Binance and all that. And all of a sudden, being kept, you know, I'm sure you would say that is against his will because uh, kept and then all of a sudden he's been arraigned. I mean, he was looking so drained, you know, coming with the t-shirt and the trousers, you know, was looking a bit, um, a, a bit um, calm, cool, you know, you know. But um, we noticed that yes, of course, for someone like that, you this is what you would expect from him, you know, looking that way. You know, but I mean, I remember them, you know, just didn't, didn't, uh, didn't go on. Um, from what you um, experienced in court, what was the interest in the case from Nigerians like? How, how, how did, how, how, what, um, how did you get a feel of the interest, what uh, Nigerians feel? I will tell it? you that the, 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 the court premises was filled with a lot of journalists, you know, uh, litigants who 
were really interested in this matter. You know, Binance issue is not um, just one that has to do with only Nigeria. You know, it has, you know, a world attraction to, to, to it. So they would really want to see what, um, you know, the outcome of this arraignment will be. But it's unfortunate that, yes, the arraignment could not go on, you know, because of um, issues. Now, the EFCC had five counts charged bordering on um, um, money laundering, you know, and corruption. Uh, they said they had served you know, the defendant. But the defendant lawyer came up and said, this is a joint charge. If this is a joint charge, it means that uh, the first defendant ought to be, or there should be proof of service of the first defendant. He should be in court to actually answer. Of mm -hmm. course, it's a criminal matter. And then the, pro the, pro the, the court, the charge itself, still has the name, don't forget, of the third defendant who is, who is um, um, well, at, at large who right is now. Large. You know, so you see um, the, 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 the issues are surrounding this whole thing. But the courts, uh, the, the courts actually heard this, the two parties, you know, you know, listening to all of them saying, oh, this is supposed to be, this one is saying, okay, because of the fact that this person is the agent they see within jurisdiction within the jurisdiction that is in Nigeria here because of course Binance doesn't have a particular uh, um, um, office or spot where you say okay you can but because they have an agent within jurisdiction that is the reason why they had to serve the defendant on behalf of Binance but the defense are saying no you can serve um, is a joint charge let make sure there's proof of service on Binance and then before this thing can go on of course the court actually had to adjourn to April 8 to determine whether the arraignment can go on you know, without a proof of service on Binance. Yeah, of course, uh, there was Grand Barrera and granted bail. Ah, no, I mean, <laughs> since his arraignment didn't go on, I mean, you can't actually grant someone who hasn't even taken his plea bail yet. So he's still in custody of um, the EFCC while um, till the next adjourn date. Okay, thank you so much. Um, Chubuza Okeze. Chubuza Okeze is our judicial correspondent.